Hey guys, Dark Dragon does MC here, and today I am going to be showing you how to do smooth cutscenes with armor stands in vanilla Minecraft. And they will look something like that. So, uh, yeah, let's get started. So, the first thing I'm going to want you to see is this command chain right here, where it's the same thing I have for my, all my cutscenes here where it is just a line of command blocks with repeaters here. If you're wondering why the repeaters look like candles and why the stuff in my inventory looks weird, I'm just using the Windcraft resource pack right now. This one right here. But anyway, so if I hit this, you could see that the armor stand moves, but it looks very choppy. And you could tell that it's frames. But if I hit this button here, it's a really smooth animation. So, I'll be showing you how to make this. Okay, so we are in a new world right now, and I have an armor stand with arms right here. If you want to know how to summon this, it's just the command slash summon armor stand tilde tilde tilde, then show arms colon one. And that's how to summon an armor stand with arms. This armor stand specifically has a name of Bob, so you would do a comma custom name colon, and whatever name you want, I'll just do Bob, and then it summons an armor stand with the name of Bob. But, uh, yeah, so let's get started on the commands. Okay, so what you're going to want to do for the commands is first you're going to lay out a line of commands, the amount of frames you want your cut, uh, the amount of frames you want your animation, I mean, but one less. So in my case, I'm going to have 16 frames, but there's going to be 15 command blocks on this first line. So what? So I'll just lay that out now. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Now, this may be starting to already look complicated, but trust me, it's not. About two-thirds of the command blocks here are just copying and pasting. But anyway, so in this command block here, you're going to put the command set block, tilde, 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 redstone, underscore, block. Now, inside those tildes here, you are going to open your F3 menu, and you're going to look at your X coordinate and your Z coordinate. Now, as you could see with those coordinates, this coordinate here, negative 1371 and 507, if I walk forwards on this line of command blocks, then you can see that my X coordinate is going up in the negative direction. So I'll put this here, and I'll walk forwards, and you can see it keeps going up in the negative direction, but you could also see that the Z coordinate here is not changing from 507. So what you're going to do in the command block is you're going to put in the uh, in the tildes negative one in my case, and you're always going to put tilde one in the second tilde for the step. So negative one again because on my F3 menu it's going up by negative one. This will differ depending on which direction you're putting the command blocks in. For say, if I had them facing this way, it would be increasing positive in the Z direction. But anyway, you're just going to take this and you're going to copy it with Control A, Control C, Command A, Command C if you're on a Mac, and you're just going to keep pasting it in with Control V, Command V if you're on a Mac, and yeah, I'll keep going with that. Sorry about that before, someone just opened the door. But anyway, so now that you have that with the command in all of the command blocks here, you're going to stack up two and put a command block two blocks above these, just like you were making a fill clock, and you're going to extend this line of command blocks the same amount of blocks you have as the frames. So the line on the bottom was 15 blocks. I'll extend it one more to make it 16. And in these command blocks here, this is the simplest command of all. You're just going to do set block tilde tilde negative one tilde air. So it just sets the block below it to air. And yeah, that's really it. You're just going to copy it with uh, control A, control C, command A, command C. And then with control V or command V, you're just going to paste it in all of these command blocks here. Okay, so once you have all of these command blocks here, when you place a block of redstone here, it's just going to go through like this. And this will be what it looks like. 
So it'll just make a line of commands there. So the next thing you're going to be doing is you're going to place commands on the side. And you're going to, again, extend this for the amount of frames, because this is going to be the frames. And there is a not a specific command you're going to put in here, but there is a specific way you're going to do the command. I'll show you how. So this is going to be a bit of a long command, but it's a simple command if you can wrap your head around it. So you're going to go into the first command block here, and you're going to copy the command I have in the description below, and you could change this accordingly. Now, this front of the command here, entity data at E, name equals, and then whatever name the armor stand is, I advise doing this just because if you're doing animations for multiple armor stands in the world, then you're going to want to be able to specify between which armor stands they are, or else it'll just have the animation go on for every armor stand. So anyway, name equals Bob, and type equals armor stand, and then another square bracket. Because this armor stand here is named Bob, and it is an armor stand. So the next part of this command is pose, right arm, and then the degrees that the right arm is going to be moved, then comma, left arm, and then again the degrees the left arm is going to be moved, and then you're just going to close off the curly brackets. Now, I'm not going to go in depth on how, like, how this command works and what you would need to do specifically for it, just because you're just going to be copying this command from the description below. Uh, I might do a com uh, entity data tutorial sometime in the future, but for now I'll just have a c this command here, and this is for if you want to do something with the arms, and I will also have a command for if you want to do something with the head, or just any other specific part of the armor stand. But anyway, once you copy this command I have in the description below, then you will also control uh, control A, control C to highlight and copy it. Again, command if you are on a Mac, but you will copy the command and then go to this command block and you will increase the number by 10. And then you will go to this command block and then increase it yet again by 10. And you will keep doing this until you reach the final value of command, and I will be back once I do that. So I am just getting to the final commands here, and as you could probably tell by copying this yourself, it will move the arms up from 30 degrees to 180 degrees. I'll just clear chat so it won't be as annoying, but uh, this right here will start the command. I actually don't need this command block here, so I will just do this. And as you can see, the armor stand's arms will move straight up. Uh, actually, here, I will copy this command, and I'll just put this here so I could reset it, and I will copy this command so I could put it here, and I'll start it whenever I want. But anyway, so we have the armor stand here. We could reset it with this command block and then start this, and then the armor stands move straight up. Now, remember what it looked like before. It would most likely look like where the armor stand's arms are moving jaggedly up, which I actually will set that up right now just to show you what it looks like. Okay, so I just finished setting that up right here. And as you can see, the armor stand's arms move jaggedly up. I'll reset it here, and I'll hit this button here, and they move quickly, slowly and jagged, quick and smooth, slow and jagged, quick and smooth. So you can see the major difference between the, the smooth one right here and the choppy one right there. So, uh, yeah, that was how to make a smooth cutscene in vanilla Minecraft. I have used this 
for a new cutscene that I've been working on, a new and improved Bob's Reincarnation cutscene. You might see that in the near future. That's just something to look forward to. And, uh, yeah, the commands will be in the description below. So, uh, yeah, see you guys.